not kidding. That's what I did all weekend. I listened to my cousin talk about her wedding plans and study for my U.S. history exam. This is pretty lame. Seriously, man. Even for you, you should have been to my place. I had all the ladies there. You mean all the Asian girls? Ram only likes American girls. Not true. Is Rachel not American? Too bad. Your parents would, like, kill you. Rachel's my study buddy. Your what? My study buddy. That's what Miss Barron calls her. You know, we do math together. That's all. I wouldn't mind graphing her plot points. Shut, Shut up, up, Jerry. Jerry. Alright, the bell's about to ring. Strong, buddy. I mean, even if my dad did consider it, Rachel would never go out with me. Why not? I don't know. I don't think I'm... Good I'm not... Enough? No. Strong enough? No. American enough? Yeah, maybe that. So, in the middle of dessert, he got a text from one of his friends and was like, I'm sorry, but my friend is stranded and needs a ride. So he just left you all alone at the restaurant? Yep. Can you believe that? But he came back, right? What do you think? What an asshole. Who does that? Hey, don't give up. There has to be at least one other guy out there who isn't a complete jerk. Well, there is this one guy, but... But what? Nothing. It would never happen. My dad would have a heart attack and a stroke at the same time. Okay, now I have to know. I want a name. Okay, study buddy. What are you planning to do with all this really useful math knowledge? Mm, aeronautical engineering. <laughs> Why? What's so funny? You want to become an actual rocket scientist? Of course. Why? Well. You always hear people saying it's not rocket science when they're explaining something. So that makes me think not a lot of people must actually understand rocket science. So there's got to be a lot of demand for it, right? I guess. Yeah, so rocket science. What are you doing this weekend? Are you going to the bonfire after the basketball game? I think it'll be fun. Mm, probably not. I won't know anyone there. I'll be there. I'd really like to. It just... I, but... But you have a girlfriend. No, God, no. It's... it's complicated. Okay, let's just get back to doing the problem. It's not gonna do itself. Yeah, it isn't. Hey, Rachel! I'll catch up with you later. What's up? Hey, so I was thinking about uh, the game and the bonfire and um, prom. Prom? Prom but, isn't like four months away. Yeah, sorry, not the point. The point is, I really like you and I think you're really cool and nice. And so I was wondering if you'd like to, um, uh, like if you'd... Uh, um, Are you trying to ask me out? Uh, yes, no. No, you're, you're not? No, I, I totally am. But like, um, yeah, so I, do you want to go out with me? Sure, I'd love to go out. Awesome, thank you. Um, so, uh, I gotta take care of something right now, but uh, we can plan for a movie or something like that? Yeah. Awesome, all right. So about that, No. Dad, uh, but... No. I just wanna say... No. That, You shouldn't take it personally. It's just that my parents don't really like me dating. And especially not a white girl. Wow, that's just sad. Yeah, and I really like you. So please don't take it the wrong way. No, I, I get it. Don't worry, we'll figure a way out. And it's nothing with you. You're perfect. 
It's just that my culture has a lot of complications with class and religion. It's just tough. To be honest, my dad wasn't too crazy about it too. When I told him your name, he wasn't all that happy because he thinks dating people from other cultures doesn't work. He wants me to date an American guy. Wow, I didn't know that your dad would be like that. To my dad, anything that isn't a Mike or a William is a big no-no. Well, just because we can't go out doesn't mean we can't hang out. I mean, what do people usually do when they go out on dates? Well, they go to the movies, they go out to eat. I mean, we can still do that. So, would you go out with me, Rachel? Um, sure, I guess. That's just sweet. No, that's sad. Nobody should ever have to see something like that. So don't go see that movie without me. Please, we have to see it together. Don't worry, who would I go see it with? Well, that's right, you're seeing that one guy you can't actually go out with. That's gotta be weird. It's actually kinda nice. We spend a lot of time here, and then my weekends are totally free. How do you have privacy to, you know? Well, that's just not part of it right now. And even if we wanted it to be, between his dad and my dad, it just wouldn't work. But what about prom or the senior picnic? What about summer? Are you both gonna sign up for summer school and go just to pretend like you're not seeing each other? I haven't thought that far ahead. You should start thinking about it or it's gonna be a long summer if you're dating by FaceTime. I mean, it's better than nothing. What do you do all weekends? Same thing I always do. Help with chores, do my homework, I... I assume my secret superhero identity as boring man and saving girls from life and fun and adventure. <laughs> Seriously though, how long are you gonna keep this up? As long as I can. But don't you actually wanna take her out someday? Look, I know it's not perfect, but what do you want me to do? Get grounded for life? Lose my computer? My phone? Give my mom a heart attack? It's your life, man. I'm just saying. If you want to be with Rachel, you're gonna have to fight for it. Don't you think Rachel actually deserves an actual boyfriend? Easy for you to say your dad would throw you a party if he found out you even like girls! Alright, so if you use Muller's formula here, you can take out the tangential identity, and with that, you can figure out this problem here. Um, what? What? I don't understand. Alright, so what part of this did you understand? You said something about formulas. Okay, let's start over. Speaking of formulas, do you think what we're doing is working? I mean, are you happy? Working? Like, we're pretending to be a couple at school? We're not pretending. What do you, what do you mean pretending? No, not pretend. I mean, do you ever think we'll be able to do what other couples do, like 
go to eat or hang out at the beach or even go to prom. Have kids, raise a family, decide whether to have them as Catholics or Hindus. Okay, slow down there, study buddy. Let's just decide on where we want to eat. Look, I know that if my dad met you, he'd love you. I know he will. It's just that he doesn't trust me. In my culture, the opinions of kids don't really matter. You're supposed to do as you're told and not rock the boat. He just won't hear me out. I don't think it's just your culture. I wish my dad would hear me for me and not what he thinks I should be. I wish he could just hear me. Well, maybe he needs to hear it from someone else. What? What? I don't understand. Hey, Mr. Johnson. My name is Ram. I was hoping you'd have some time to talk about your daughter. Hi, my name is Rachel. Do you have a few minutes to talk with me? It's about Ram. I know how most guys are. I see it all the time. I don't know why they act so differently around girls. Do you? I have no idea. Even when I acted that way, I had no idea why. Well, I just wanted to let you know that I don't act like that. Definitely not around it, Rachel. I could never. It's good to know. I mean, Rachel's just so smart and she's so sure of herself. She would never put up with that. She makes me want to be better all the time. You know what I mean? I do. She's like her mother. He's the kindest boy I've ever met. I've never heard him say anything bad about anyone, not even you. About me? Why would he say bad things about me? Well, most kids complain about their parents, even the kids with the best parents. Whenever something doesn't go their way, it's always like, my mom's a bitch, or my dad's an asshole, blah, blah, blah. But not you. No? No. He respects you, like he respects me. It's strange. When I'm with her, I feel like I'm unworthy. But at the same time, I feel like I'm the only one who can treat her the way she deserves to be treated. I want to feel like that all the time. And respectfully, sir, I want to stop pretending like I don't. Are you asking permission to date my daughter? I am, sir. Unless you say no. In which case, I'm here to tell you that we have a problem. Because I really, really like your daughter. How do your parents feel about you dating Rom? My parents weren't really crazy about it. My dad's a little conservative, but when he meets Rom, I have a feeling he'll see things differently. Differently? I see what you mean. You're a good kid, Rom. I've been raised well, sir. Um, you have my permission, as long as it's okay with your dad. Oh, and I don't want him thinking this is Rachel's idea either. Yes, sir, the idea was all mine. Well, good luck. By the way, where is Rachel? We are very traditional people, Rachel. For centuries, it has been the parents' privilege to choose who their kid marries. Young people, they make very bad decisions with matters that concern their heart. So I think you're asking a very great deal here. I understand. But this boy you described to me, I have seen myself. He is more thoughtful than I was at his age. So if he wants to spend time with you, I think it's for a very good reason. But there are some rules, of course. Of course. Thank you. I suppose I have to start trusting my son in this new world and with the new rules. Thank you. Thank you so much. By the way, where is Ram? My dad said you reminded him of himself when he was your age. No way. He was totally impressed with you, but he said you shook hands like a man. I don't know whether that's a good thing or bad. Do you think they're having any fun? I think they were made for each other. <laughs> Here's to us. All of us. Yeah.